Hello to all. Welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. This video is about Azure Database for MySQL Flexible Server. This is in continuation to the previous videos in the playlist for MySQL Flexible Server. In this video, we are going to connect to the Flexible Server, MySQL Flexible Server and create some tables, query the data using Azure Data Studio. So this is the page by Microsoft official documentation for MySQL. And if you go here to the section flexible server, under this section, we have quick starts and connect and query. In the quick start, using the quick start, we have created the MySQL flexible server through Azure portal. We have created this server through portal. Now, the same server we are going to use in this video. In this video, we are going to connect to that MySQL flexible server through Azure Data Studio. In the previous video or the second video in this playlist, we had connected to the server through MySQL Workbench. Okay. Now this time we are going to connect and query through Azure Data Studio. There are several ways through which we can connect and query. Among these ways, we have covered MySQL Workbench and now we are going to study to connect it through Azure Data Studio. So let's just click on Azure Data Studio. It will open up a hyperlink here where we can read how we can use Azure Data Studio to connect and query MySQL. If we go here in the documentation, there are three prerequisites. To complete this quick start, you need to have Azure Data Studio, the extension and access to the server. So let's first go to the server. Here's the server. We are in the Azure portal. We created the CK MySQL DB as the MySQL flexible server in Azure. And we want to connect to this flexible server using Azure Data Studio. Let's go back here. The first prerequisite is we have to have Azure Data Studio. So the first link is Azure Data Studio installation link. From this page, we can get the link of installation whichever platform we have, whichever OS we have. Okay, just follow the instruction and install Azure Data Studio. We have already installed Azure Data Studio. So we'll search for Azure Data Studio and open it. So this is the first page of the Azure Data Studio. And the first tab is the connections tab where we can connect to different servers. There is an existing connection of the SQL database and now we have to create a new connection. So here the first icon is new connection. Then we have new server group and show active connections. So our job is to connect to a new connection, which is the connection of this database. But if we go back to the quick start, it says install the MySQL extension for Azure Data Studio. Okay, here in Azure Data Studio, we cannot connect to MySQL until uh, we have to install the extension. So in order to install the extension, we'll go back here. We'll click on the hyperlink, install the MySQL extension. It will show up this page where the installation steps are given. So the step is first step is we have to go to the extensions icon bar, which is this one in the Azure Data Studio and then search for MySQL extension. Okay, so we'll go back here. And in the Azure Data Studio, we have this last icon present on the left sidebar as extension. So we'll click over it on the sidebar, which is extensions. Under the extensions, we'll search for MySQL. So the first option is MySQL extension for Azure Data Studio. We'll click over it and it will open up here. This extension is recommended by Azure Data Studio to connect, query and manage MySQL databases with ADS. So we are going to click on install and we could see it's installed in seconds. Now we'll go back here to the connections section. We'll close this. We'll open connections and we'll click on, click on the first icon, which is new connection. So the connection settings will open on the right side here. The connection type we have to select under the connection details. So the type will be MySQL server name. Let's go back here to the 
flexible server details from the Azure portal. We just copy the server name here, which is present on the right side with the name as server name, paste it, which is the name of the server dot mysql dot database dot azure dot com. Authentication type. Authentication type is password only. We'll give the username and password. The username and password will be this admin login name and the password which we gave while creation of this flexible server. So write ck mysql db and the password. Now we'll click on remember password, database name, server group and name. We'll leave it optional. We'll write here the name ck mysql db. The name with which we want to see it here. Connection details options are all filled. We'll click on connect. It will take some time to connect and we could see that yeah, it connected with the green symbol. We can see here the details of the MySQL DB, CK MySQL DB. So it has opened up the different options which are present inside. CK MySQL DB has different databases. And here we could see a test DB which we have created in the previous example when we connected it through the MySQL workbench. Now, in this example, we are going back to the official documentation. And here we have connected to the server. Next step is to create the database. So we'll copy the command to create database and then we'll create table in that database and then perform the other queries. So let's go. So let's click on new query, a SQL query page will appear. And here we are going to paste the create database database name. Okay. We'll click on run. Command completed successfully. The database is created. If we are here in the flexible server, we can right click and click on refresh. And now if you open the databases section, we can see the tutorial DB. Okay, this database is created. Now next step is after creation of the database, we have to create tables. So for that purpose, we'll copy these commands where we are dropping if table exists customer, else we are going to create table customers, which is having these columns. So just copy the command, go back and paste. Under the connections, test DB is selected, but we want the data to be added to the tutorial db so we'll select the database as tutorial db here from the settings above and click on run query is executing it completed successfully okay so if we open up the tables here we could see customers table is created next we'll go back here and we are going to now insert some data in the table. So we'll copy the command insert into the customer table, these rows. Okay. So we'll just paste the command and we'll execute it in tutorial DB. Command completed successfully. Next is to query the data means we have to see what all contents we have in this table. So we are going to execute it and we can see the rows which we have inserted in the table. And we can see here the data inserted into the customer's table. Another way is we can go to the table, right click on the table name and select top 1000 rows. And here a new query page will appear and it will give us the result of the customer's table. Same result. So this is how we can connect to the MySQL flexible server of Azure in Azure Data Studio. Hope you could also do this configuration in your ADS. Do let me know in comments if you face any issue. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. Bye.